Hello guys, I've got a story for you guys today. I was out one night with five friends, yes I do have five friends, unbelievable. And uh, we were underage at the time, we must have been about 15, some of us were 14, some of us were 16. And uh, we went out to the off license, to the liquor store, and we bought a bottle of vodka and a couple of cans of beer. Now, you're going to ask, how on earth did you buy that? Well, I looked older than I uh, actually am. That's besides the point. Anyway, we were walking her. Well, we're walking to the park where we was going to get drunk with, uh, with this one bag of alcohol. I was carrying the bag of alcohol. So, walking down, joking about boobs and fanny and all that, whatever we talk about at that age. And uh, a police car pulls up. And where I used to live, it was, it was built up, built around crime, if you know what I mean. It was quite a high, high area for crime. I mean, not bad crime, you know, just thievery and things like that. As if that's not bad enough. I mean, you know, like murder and a stabbing. There was none of that. But, uh, yeah. So he gets pulled over. But I, there must have been a five or six of us. I can't, I can't remember. It was quite a while ago now. And the, the police officers questioned us one by one so he questioned me second i was the second to be questioned and i obviously was wearing this bag and what he was doing he was searching our pockets and, and bags so what happened was when my friend peter he got searched first so he went up there got questioned and searched he was fine he had nothing on him he said you there so what i did i said to my mate gary here grab me bag grab my bag, you know what I mean? So, they obviously don't search my bag just yet. I mean, I'm not, I didn't want to pass the blame on to my friends and get them in trouble, but this is where it became clever. So I was searched, fine. You know, we hadn't been drinking at the time, so we didn't smell about alcohol. So I went back. Lo and behold, Gary, it's your turn to go up now. Right, Gary, give me the bag, give me the bag, give me the bag. And they didn't, they didn't clock on that we were swapping bags. So what was happening, we were all in a group being questioned out one by one and we were kind of rotating this bag so the bag would never come into contact with the police. <laughs> oh God, how funny is that? Uh, just straight out actually. It's really funny. You're creeping for guy. Uh, so we never got caught. In the end we didn't get caught. Could have been naughty, we could have got uh, I, I, the, the only thing, uh, if we was to get caught with all that alcohol, we would have got a caution and a yellow ticket, they call it. We would have got a ticket. But you know, at that age, I couldn't afford the £80 fine. <laughs> Christ, that was quite funny. It would have been quite funny to see on camera. But it was amazing how we were just rotating this bag and they didn't have a clue. Policemen, if you are watching this, I, you, you're probably not. Don't look at the speed I have been doing in my other vlogs, but sorry, we fucked you over there, mate. <laughs> Christ, very, very funny. Ugh. The things you used to get up to as a child. But that was the first instance I ever had with police, the law. Quite scary, really. I don't think I'll ever do it again. And judge, from judging what the uh, the Aussie thinker said, I speak that I can't remember his name. It's just good to tell the truth because he didn't tell the truth and he got a bit. Uh, well, he got arrested because he gave a false name and all that because he, you know, didn't want to get arrested, but he ended up dead and. He was told by the police officer that actually if you would have told me all your right credentials and all that, you would have you'd have to just give you a bit of a warning, you know? No fine or anything. Which is uh, a bit bullshit really, but it's how it is. You can never predict police officers. I mean, I've been pulled over by police officers quite a couple of times on this bike. I mean, I'm always nice to them. I'm never, you know, hateful towards her. I always just do exactly what they say, I have respect to them and if the police officers do get funny, I get funny with them back, because I know my law and I know my rights I think I need to 
have a look at the gearbox on this bike because uh, maybe it's just me. I, I, I seem to click it into neutral a a lot. It's starting to piss me off a little bit. But yeah, that's that. Just out. I found a bit of a shit, a bit tight today. Mm. I was up all night trying to defend myself because for some reason I got a load of hate on my vlog yet. Um, yesterday I put up a uh, a post about um, that 13 year old that was killed by those police officers in America. Basically, all I wanted was what people thought about it because obviously it's quite a big tragedy and what actually happened, you know, what people thought, but obviously people don't like to talk about all of that shit, because it obviously reflects bad on the American people. I have no problem with Americans at all. I have no problems with any ethnic society. Um, you know, I am not a racist. I don't have a narrow mind. I am not a stereotype, which for some reason I'm being called I am. Apparently, uh, I like to generalise people because of a few, uh, because of something that's happened, you know what I mean? You know, if someone shoots someone in America, that's it, all Americans go around shooting each other, which is bollocks because I didn't make that generalisation. Obviously, people misunderstand what I say, but that's fine, that's just people for you. People love to get offended. It's gonna be, uh, and it's only going to get worse. You know, you make you make a comment to anyone that's not right, or that doesn't sound right. I mean, completely innocent comment that sounds completely normal and doesn't, um, you know, it doesn't seem to be offensive when you say it. And for some reason, someone actually does get offended. I mean, Christ, guys. Uh, yeah, well, it's only going to get worse, isn't it, guys? Because uh, at the end of the day, people are not going to be able to speak. Freedom of speech was fought for by many of wars. And we won it. And we did actually win freedom of speech. Where's that gone? It's just disappeared now. Freedom of speech has disappeared. You can't say anything today without people getting offended. Absolutely cannot. Which is sad, really. Because all those people who died to get that freedom of speech, it's just, you know, what for? What a waste. I mean, that's down to governments, really. And, uh, people getting brain-fed bullshit by the governments and newspapers and the news and all that sort of stuff. Because that's what it is. It's just bullshit. People that be the... Um, fed lies and false conspiracies and you know all of that sort of fun stuff it's kicking out time to think we can do some exhaust popping <laughs> he covered his ears because I did it to him the other day Maturity coming out. Where are you going, mate? Right. Yeah! <laughs> wow! Please, people, don't get offended for that. Please do not get offended that I've just been scaring children. Please do not. Christ. I bet people do, oh, 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 fuck off. I, I have no time for people like that. I really don't. Narrow-minded, stupid people. Can't we just live in fucking harmony where we can just talk about anything? We can, uh, it's not going to happen. It's only going to get worse. And that's fine, obviously. That's fine. If that's how it's going to be, that's how it's going to be. What the fuck is that, man? Only going to get worse. Who wet all the pies? She did. I promise it wasn't me. I all the pies. But do you know where I'm coming from? Oh, yeah.
I mean, I'm at a blog.com, I don't want to cause any hostility. I mean, I really do apologise, guys, if I caused any amount of shit. Didn't mean to, I was just trying to make a comment. But obviously, people don't want to hear that sort of stuff, and people want to keep it hidden, and people don't want to talk about that sort of stuff, which is quite pathetic, but, you know, obviously I'm going to get nowhere in life trying to do what I want to do because, you know, you can't be your own person anymore. That's quite uh, upsetting, really. It's, it's going to get worse. It's not going to get better. It's only going to get worse. Right, back in here. It was funny because I was doing a big fucking rant where I was really going at it before. I came in here and I started shouting up fucking getting pissed off. I actually deleted that footage because uh, I don't want to cause more shit. I just want to make better vlogs and I don't want to be unhappy. You know, so I'm going to do, I'm going to live in my little own world and you know what I mean? You know, to live how I live and if people would like to be offended by it, by all